Hi, wonderful people. Thank you so much for being here. It's Mark here from Not Defining. This is the place where we delve into sexuality, gender, love, sex, relationships, self-confidence, and so much more so that you can find your best self however you define. Now, bisexuality is such a misunderstood orientation, isn't it? So today, I'm going to be giving you 10 things that most people don't realize about bisexuality. I'm leaving my very favorite one for last, but the first one we're going to jump straight into. All animals in the animal kingdom that we have studied show a default of bisexuality. Okay, so actually exclusive heterosexuality or exclusive homosexuality in the animal kingdom is really rare. Almost all animals will show a variety of different sexual behaviors with all different sexes and genders and types. This runs contrary to what we're taught in school and in nature documentaries that animals only have sex to procreate. That's completely not true. If you think about it, most animals have a mating season, which is a restricted time of the year where they have sex to procreate. The rest of the time, they are performing all kinds of different bonds or different kinds of sexual behaviors. And you guessed it, the human being is no different. Human beings are by default capable of bisexuality. Okay, so think of that what you will, but it's true. The second one is about one in four people are somewhere on the bi spectrum. So kind of confirms what we talked about in the last point. The most rigorous studies that have been performed have found that actually about one in four people define as something other than exclusively heterosexual. And if you go down to 18 to 25 year olds, yeah, so young people, the figure is a whopping one in two. So that is 50% of people are something other than exclusively heterosexual. And the interesting thing about it is that only about 6% define as exclusively homosexual. And as the age groups go down, more and more people are defining as bi and the figure for exclusively gay or homosexual remains the same. I wonder why people don't officially like to define as LGBT, but that's a story for another day. If you yourself are wondering where you might fit on the spectrum or you'd like to find out more about bisexuality, then click the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you never miss our content. Number three, a bisexual person organized the first Pride March. That's right. Normally, the Stonewall riots are attributed to Marsha P. Johnson and the other people who started rising up against the police in the 1960s. However, the first Pride March, which was a protest march, was organized by a bisexual woman called Brenda Howard. So bisexual people have been a huge fundamental part of the community from the start and we continue to be today. Number four, most trans people are bi. We tend to think about things in terms of LGBT and of course trans is you know, a gender identity or a, a way of describing somebody's gender. However, most people who are trans, their sexuality is bi. Now, if you think about it, somebody who has transitioned gender, okay, so somebody for whom gender is not necessarily a kind of static construct, it would make sense that their sexuality, i.e. who they're attracted to, would be somewhere on the bi or the pan spectrum. So there's a big, big, big link between the bi and the trans community, and that's absolutely wonderful. The next thing is bi people suffer disproportionately high levels of domestic abuse. Now, why on earth would there be a correlation between bisexuality and domestic abuse? Well, if you think about it, bisexual people are taught from an early age that they are not worthy of relationships, people don't want to date them, they are untrustworthy, they are undesirable, and there's also very few people who are visible 
who can give kind of confidence to bi people growing up. So when you're bi, oftentimes you grow up thinking that you don't deserve a partner. And then when you get a partner, if you get a partner, you think, wow, I'm so lucky to have this partner. Now, if that partner is abusive to you, then you are more likely to stay with that partner than leave if you feel fundamentally unworthy. This is unfortunately a constant in the LGBT community, but for bi people, it can be much higher. Other reason is that when we are bi, a lot of the time, people gaslight us. Yeah, we've been gaslighted almost from birth. So it's like, you know, what you're feeling isn't real. Bisexuality isn't valid. You know, you're in denial. And anyone who's ever interacted with the, the concept of domestic abuse will understand that when you are being abused, those are all the things which people say to you. You're making it up. It's not real. You know, you're in denial, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you gaslight yourself. And that is why many of us are unfortunately vulnerable to domestic abuse. So just watch out and let's all take care of each other. Number six, did you know that these famous people were bi? Number one, the Spice Girls singer Mel B. Number two, the American civil rights activist Malcolm X. Number three, the blues and soul singer and piano player composer Nina Simone. And finally, the ancient Greek leader Alexander the Great. All four of these people and many other people were by, are by, and we don't often get to hear about them because for some reason their identities get erased either in history or in popular culture. That leads me on perfectly to number seven, which is that bisexuality was actually the norm in many ancient cultures. For example, in the Roman and the Greek times, it was very, very normal for people to have different types of relationships with the same sex and with the different sex. So really bisexuality being weird or new or an issue in society is actually something quite modern. Number eight, this is one of my favorite ones. Most bisexual people don't actually know what bisexuality is all about. It can be a very confusing orientation and often we're expected to kind of explain or justify bisexuality, why it's real or not. And actually we don't have a clue. So if you meet a bi person, even somebody like me who speaks about it on the internet, we don't know. Like we're not even ever sure if we are really bi. We're often second guessing ourselves. You know, like I said in the other point, we're often kind of gaslighting ourselves, wondering, are we in denial? Is bisexuality real? Am I gay or am I straight? Am I doing it for attention? Am I just in the closet? All of these things we all, we all think about. So don't ever feel like, you know, if you're unsure or if you're confused that you are alone. Confusion is a big part of being bi. Number nine, actually the biggest group by far in the bisexual community are what we might call bicurious, heteroflexible, or mostly straight. Yeah, so that is the, the proportion of people who identify as kind of mostly attracted to a different gender, but they have some capacity for same-sex attraction. Now, we can talk a lot about why that might be, and I'm sure that a lot of those people kind of do that because it's more societally accepted to be on the straight side. However, at the current time, that is the state of things. So if you are kind of mostly straight, but you kind of think, well, maybe I could, you know, a bit of something else, then that is perfectly normal and natural. And number 10, my favorite one of all, there is at least one bisexual person in your family, okay? We often feel very alone as LGBT people, particularly as bi people, when we don't see ourselves mirrored in our family or our, you know, people growing up, our friendship groups and so on. But if you think about the statistics that I mentioned before, it is inevitable that there is at least one cousin, uncle, 
aunt, maybe even sibling, etc. Who is bi? Most of us bi people, sadly, are not out. So you will have met so many bi people, you'll just never have known it. So the ones of us who can be out and can be proud, let's do it for those who can't. Did you like these reasons? Did you know any of them already? Were any of them new? Let me know in the comments and please click subscribe. I've got loads more content on bisexuality coming out. And if you would like to understand bisexuality more, check out this video coming up where I explain all about bisexuality in detail. Thanks for listening. I'll speak to you again soon. Have a great day. Bye for now.